we are live. What's up, y'all? I hope you had an amazing Monday. I had to take Bowie to the vet and get his yearlies. Now I can't even touch him without him crying. Well, has to be done. Hi, all the Lindas. I hope you all had an immersing Monday. So much fan. We had a pretty okay Monday except for having to shoot up the pup. Amanda Bangs is here. She's in the background sending out all of your orders for all of your ordering needs. Don't forget that we do have Amanda Bangs. We do have um, a clearance sale right now on some items, um, mainly things that are just taking up too much room on the shelves. Hi, Moo. You can come up here with me. Okay. There you go. I'm going to just say hi to all the peoples. You can say hi. Hold on. Let me switch this around. There you go, Moose. Saying hi to all the people, cause you're so milly. <gasps> There's your ears. There's him ears. A big boy. A biggest baby moo. Anyways. Everyone says hi, Mandy Bangs. Here. Here. Grandma Kathy, you're back on a three-week vacation. I've never had a three-week vacation. That's Bernerners. Bernerners. That's awesome, Dawn. Love me some Scarlet. Hi, Diane. Hey, y'all. Dang it. There, maybe it'll auto. What are you doing? All changes saved. Is it, has it updated now? Bowie's here sleeping off his shoot up today. He got his yearly. Puppy booster today. Anyways, so today um, Jeff is getting ready for a show on May the 4th called May the 4th Be With You. It is a Star Wars show that we do every year. And so we got to make some pieces real quick because we're not going to be here for the 4th. Amanda is actually basically curating the show. So she's being a helper for everybody. Anyways. I'm literally like contemplating like, Willie, you know that she already does a lot right now. Uh, you're you're going to tell him to take it easy on her? Hey, I get 10% of all sales. I'm okay. Do not take it easy on her. She wants that hustle. <laughs> Thank you, Daphne. Nowhere shy, I'm just here. Um, so yeah, without further ado, cue that stripper music. So this one that Jeffrey has right there, oh, on the 4th, we are going to be in in and around Australia. I'm not even sure what city we'll be in, but we'll be not here. We'll be there. I'm say Hi, Lord Taylor. So glad you're here, Shy. I hope you had an immersing day. What is up, Jen? Gotta love that stripper music. So also... Here we go, baby moves. <laughs> hi, Rusty. I know it's so difficult to say hi to all the people because as soon as it feels like you said hi to everybody, more people will pop in, which is great. It's just hard to keep up with all the peoples. There we go. All right, so. 
turn this a little bit so that you'll be able to hear both of us. Ooh. Sorry about that. B, now it's not on it anymore. It's not on it. It's moved. Is that? Yeah, it's on there now, right? Yeah. I don't know how that even moved. You know, say. I'm just gonna. So I'll show you guys the stencil that I made. I made this a while back. Um, and all I did is, I literally just took a uh, stormtrooper image and cut out all the black. So it was like a clip art image, right? Well. No, because they don't really have, they were real tacky, so I just made my own. Um, you just cut out the black part, just just the just the main parts that, that make the image. Um, that's how I that's how I started to learn how to uh, how to airbrush faces, is I would cut out just the dark parts of a face and spray it and then um, finish it. Finish. Obviously, you have two images. You, you, you copy two of them. Take one. Cut out all the black. You know, spray your spray your image like so. Thusly. Like, really light. I would do it lightly if you're gonna like paint this. Cryptic in the house. See. And then you can, you know, go in with your, you know, whatever, however you want to do it. You can just leave it like that. People love that simple, uh, simple it's thing. so simple. It's so simple. Show them that one you did and you're just fiddle faddling around. In a minute. Fiddle faddling. It's a scientific term, B. I don't have time to explain science to you right now. Don't. Thank you, Lost Art. Doesn't really work when your hair is in a ponytail. <laughs> um, Diane says, what up with the Boba Fett? She's been requesting that for like a year. Boba Fett is very difficult to paint. It takes time. There is a Boba Fett out there. A sexy Boba Fett. My, my, best, my boy uh, Broadway has it. That's true, Dan. See, how fun is that? Colleen, you can totally use your Cricut, I think I'm saying that right, to cut out stencils. Yeah, that thing works. Because you can even like cut out like sticky vinyl stencils so you can like reuse them a few times. I almost want to redo this. It's like chrome. The stars in your eyes. Show them um, up close. Shy, we are in a super well ventilated down sub. There you go. Um, super well ventilated area. So Please nice. wear respirators so I don't get hate mail. Yeah. Do as I say, not as I do. If you haven't been to our studio space, it is quite spacious. We have 13 foot tall ceilings. The one room in our house is the whole house. It's 2,500 or so square feet, basically all studio. And we've got all the windows open, so yeah. Jen, um, thank you for sticking up for me. I don't know why she's this lady thinks I'm gonna get a class action lawsuit because people don't wear a respirator just because I don't wear a respirator, even though I always say take all the proper precautions. I've got insurance. Right, Sulu? 
Um, that tape is amazing. Yes, Shy, it is still haunted here. I would love for you to come by and see our place sometime. I know you would love it. Um, Bowie is hanging out probably under the couch or in my closet. He has found and pushed everything out of one of my little cubbies that I had shorts in. They are now, he, he did like the cat thing, you know when cats just get in a shelf and just everything so that they have all the space. That's, that was a Bowie move. Basically, sour cream, someone said that we're responsible if someone has a bad reaction to resin because we don't wear respirators and so it gives people a false sense of they don't need to wear respirators. Yeah. Even though everybody's situation is different. You know, for example, probably going to help someone that didn't wear a respirator. Um, for example, Jeff gets resin rash really bad with art resin, but we tried so probably a dozen or more resins and that's the only one he gets resin rash to. We, he used to wear like tube sock gloves for a little while. It was a little bit ridiculous. I understand where she's coming from in that um, if we didn't recommend that people with sensitive allergies and things like that, um, if we didn't recommend to those people to wear respirators, then it would be irresponsible of us in some way. I don't think it'd be class action lawsuit responsible, but we tell people when I remember All of the precautions you should take. Anyway. That's awesome, Jen. I'm so glad that you got that ramp and that all of your babies love it. Um, all both of mine love it. So I believe I have a statement in the, the description box, actually. I think I'm gonna try to do fire today. I'm sorry, Daphne. I've never tried Moss Epoxy. Thank you, Laura Taylor. Thank you, Pam. I'm digging that it's like turning into a, a, like, a pink. Just sprayed my shirt orange. Jen. I find that like adults need babysitters sometimes a lot more than these children do. I found that especially the case when I was working in the right, hotel days. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to try to do fire today. This is just an experiment, y'all. Okay? I have it in the description box. with the light gray just to get the image on here. Because I'm going to do fire behind him. So I'm just going to do that. And then I'm going to start with this with a dark red. I know, red and safety police are in full force lately. Clara, definitely do that because, I mean, mine says when we work with resin, it's under ideal conditions. We follow instructions from the products we use. Wear respirators, gloves, and even a hazmat suit if you're sensitive. I mean, take um, all we the cannot shell viable. Make you feel comfortable. 
Shy's really geeking out that you're gonna attempt fire. Adulting is our true. Um, Judy is probably ghost watching. She likes to watch on her TV. And sometimes she'll chime in from her monster iPad. Moose, are you okay? I think you're right, Doris. That's so awesome, Diane. Claire says, go ahead and experiment, Jeff. We can take it. Judy's floating around somewhere, I'm sure. Sure of it. Um, I haven't tried it, Lost Art, but I do have some of Stone Coat's Casting Epoxy, which is supposed to be able to be poured three inches thick, and if you've ever done any casting, you know that that's insane to be able to pour that thick without any discoloring or bubbles getting trapped in there. The issue is, when you pour too thick, on top of the fact that the bubbles can't get released, they can't make their way out before it sets up, if you pour too thick and the resin heats up too quickly because the thicker and more uh, enclosed your resin is, the faster it'll heat because it'll keep playing off of the heat it's generating and it will cause discoloration or I think even weakness. Don't quote me on that. That's an e-science thing. Jen says, love it just like Where that. Where is our mist brainer? Here it is. Experiments are how we learn. This is true, Miss Lamb. What did Jeff use for stencil material? Poster board. Poster board. Just regular poster board you get from like home, uh, like Office Max or Michaels or Hobby Lobby. I know, Jen, but that's of the future. That's true, Miss Rosado. What up, Vance? Of course, Grandma Kathy. Who makes it? What is it? Who are they? Um, I hope so, Diane. I know the rings are shit, but I never got them. Can't find the email tracking number. Can you check when you have time? Yes, ma'am, Miss Sherry. Give me one second. Erica, what is Jeff's temp made out of? Uh, post board. What is made of? The, your uh, stencil. We need to make a shirt that says e-science just is. I concur. Hey, uh, JJ. Lost well, Art, Stone Coat is pricey. Um, completely get that. But... I will look into Moss and see if I can get like a sample kit, a small one, so that I can do a review for y'all. Jeff is getting crazy. I'm getting my fireball responsibly, of course. Thank you, Linda, for the disclaimer. I'm just gonna do a shirt that has all the disclaimers. And just wear it. Oh, thanks, Laura Taylor. I concur. I have started the hummingbird, Daphne. I've reworked that thing a couple of times by now, both in my head and 
on paper. The struggle is real. B, your fire looks really good. What is a water marble? Heck no glow. I will look them up, Grandma Kathy. Thank you. Hi, Karen. Absolutely, Diane. Make sure you wear a respirator before drinking Fireball. Laura wants to know if the other side can be Yoda. Oh. Mene, not really. Tonight, I'm going to get all of the rest, I've decided. But then again, I always say that and something always comes up. Does Amanda Banks have an email address? She um, helps me keep up to date with our ThornetArtistBuildup.com email. So if you do want to reach out to Amanda Bangs, um, I should just make her. I was gonna say Amanda Bangs at ArtistBuildup.com. <laughs> Jeff is a pyro. Funny story, Sulu. He used to be when he was a child. Is Amanda Bangs um, really her last name? I'm going to work on, like, finding her a dude whose last name is Bangs. Because I feel like that would be amazing. Darth is on fire. That's insane, Kathy. I'm going to have to try that. Jeff's fire is the best fire. I have a fire piece that's hanging in my studio. Inspiration, you know? She does have one of the OG fire pieces that you did. Laura Taylor does. Oh, yeah. Ah, Maria, I see what you're saying. And you want to try that with resin? How many words are difficult, Daphne? That's awesome, Karen. Drink responsibly. Clara. <laughs> she says, here's $20 because the force is strong with this one. <laughs> Thank you. Judy. Mmm. Mm. You're going to get an email entitled, Mind Bang. Thank you, Sarah. So, Maria, I think the issue that you would find with doing the dip deal um, is that when doing uh, a paint dip like that, all of the paints and things are on top of the water. And if you just swirl resin around, I guess, colored resin and try to dip it. I don't know that you would get a result that's much different than with, um, like a puddle pour or a dirty cup move. And you will probably end up wasting a lot of resin doing that. Unless, no, unless you dip something and then pour the rest out onto like coasters or, or molds or something. Some of your flame shadows looks like hearts. Jeff over here trying to take all my monies. That's from JJ. Jen, thank you. She said respirator and has that stuff fund. Perfect. Yeah, Claire, I am a little bit behind. Sour cream and shy. We definitely thought that that was a porn star name. Like, if she ever got into the biz, it has to be. Man, thanks. 
We'll give it a whole new meaning of things. That's awesome, Diane. Um, Karen, Thomas, are you asking if powders can be used with anything other than resin or like paste? Paste, I wouldn't even attempt to, to do them or use them with anything that's not resin because I don't think they'll really set up without resin. Um, powders, you can usually mix micas into clear mediums and paint with them. That's awesome, Libby. I just heard Amanda chuckle in the background. She's there. Oh, Maria, true. Resin does not like water, so I wouldn't even try to float it on top of water. I thought you meant like fill an entire thing with colored resin and do a dip. Resin's not going to float on top of water. It's going to sink and you're still going to waste resin. Baby Moose, come here. Uh, Linda is correct. Philip, Bama Wood. We did a review on it not too long ago. I have a kit of it down here somewhere. Um, it is a really strong smell. It's got a 45 or less minute um, working time. Mid, calm down. Come here. And if I'm thinking correctly, it doesn't have that much UV blocker in it. That would be awesome, Libby. Colleen, I would assume that you could mix it in a clear acrylic medium, the Stone Coat Glow Powder, but um, I wouldn't mix it in any like opaque color because that's just going to cover up all of the glow particles. Um, Diane, I would not mix a water-based paint into resin if you need it to keep its rigidity and um, rigidity. Throwing big words out today. <laughs> like if you're doing a countertop, I wouldn't use any water-based paint because that's gonna break down some of the awesomeness that's in your resin. That makes it like heat resistant, water resistant scratch resistant. It's going to break it down just a little bit. Resin does not like water thin. Acrylic binder, that's one of the words I was looking for. Kim, thank you. It's my pleasure. I'm just glad that you guys take time to join us and watch whatever it is we're trying to do. That looks terrible. <laughs> no, it doesn't. For sure it looks different on film, but on the camera. Why is it skipping? What's skipping? Down there. I don't know, but up here it's fine. Yeah, this is not what I what I wanted to do. Aw, uh, thanks, Tony. What is up? That background Jeff just made is incredible with the yellow and the white. Yeah, but it's not it's not what I what I envisioned. Too light, and the, these are just very cartoony flames. So I'm not, I'm not digging that. Um, I think it looks good, but it may be just because I'm looking at it on camera. Hold up, it. He is his uh, own I, harshest critic. Uh, I forgot about my this. I'm gonna mix more resin and pour into that stuff. I guarantee something will buy it. Oh, I'm not leaving this. What? No. This is crazy. Can you do resin flames and then stencil over it once cured? He could. Still looks 
dope, Jeff. Y'all make it hard to stay on task when I'm trying to do my taxes. Hip Hop United. You. Today's the last day. Unless you're like me and file for an extension. Yellow. Wow. No. You look tired. Yeah, I'll Are you gonna come exercise with Bowie Bean? Bowie's behind you. Are you gonna Bye. come exercise with me tomorrow? Yeah, I'm gonna do the same tonight. That's awesome, Daphne. Shoot me an email. I'll send you a congratulations paint. So I set up Bowie's um, ball pit and he has been going crazy. Well, that was before. I like it darker. Hip Hop United, I still want to come that direction and collab with y'all. It's Luke from Stone Coat, by the way. What is up? Any of the Stone Coat fam is welcome in our house any day. Very true, Missy. Will he resin over this? Um, I'm not sure if he's going to keep it. I'll probably paint on it. Usually when he does that like almost sarcastic laugh, it means he's not a fan and he's gonna paint over it. Right, Doris? Um, Shy, I haven't done one in a few months. I need to, I need to pick back up doing end of month drawings. She made an email, Daphne. Um, Nene, once he decides he doesn't like a piece enough to like remove it from the table, he's just done playing with it. He'll either set it aside and not look at it again till tomorrow. What, son? Come here. You come up here. And won't mess with it till tomorrow. Uh, or have this paint over it. Oh, he's full of kisses. I mean, it's in my floor playing with Bowie butt. <laughs> I don't know if y'all can see her. Hold on. You're looking at the sky now. There she is, the one and only Manda Finn. Playing with Bowie Bean. And then this guy. Just on the table. He's my co captain. What up, crazy G lady? So, Crazy G Lady, what is gesso and what is it used for? Gesso is basically a white base paint. We used to use white flat house paint. Get him. He likes the pee pads. Um, love you, bye. Love you, bye. 
y'all. Man is the best. I recommend anybody out there get one. Not available on Amazon or iTunes. Sorry. Uh, so. But lately, I've realized that spray gesso, there's something about it, some something in it that makes it less porous than a flat white interior house paint that allows me to use alcohol inks on it without them soaking in to whatever it is I'm working on. So it's not exactly like using um, a tile or UPO paper, but it's close. Long story short, unless you're using alcohol inks or watercolors, it does. You can use a flat white interior house paint. Did Cash get his shots today? Linda, Moo is um, tolerating Bowie a little bit more every day. They're not um, at each other's complete throats right now. So I'm gonna call that a win. Gin Germs, love the name. Yes, we are live. Um, Crazy G Lady, the stone coat base coat or the base tint is actually an epoxy pigment. And so you can use that as a base but it, you have to have painted it first and that um, the base tint, you have to mix resin into it. It's not gonna dry. I actually had a lady email me and she said she doesn't know what she did wrong. She's not getting cells. And she actually painted her canvas with just the base tint and didn't mix any resin in it and was very confused and concerned about why. Um, sorry you guys, I'm cutting stuff out of Kujo's coat. Very confused about why it didn't work, why she didn't get cells, and why her piece never set up completely. But that is why. You have to mix resin with the base tint. Also, there are no dumb questions. Because if I answer your question, someone that may not, um, really want to chat may have the same question so every question that gets answered or asked is like a learning tool for everybody that doesn't ask questions maybe airbrush the flames instead of spray paint y'all he does the most brilliant airbrush flames and that's not even from a position of bias Gesso, a calcium liquid formulation of some kind. Lost Art, that is very scientific. And I'm not sure. That is very scientific. <laughs> Y'all better get on your taxes. I don't know why I'm saying that. I put them off as well. So we get these birds out front of our place called uh, grackle birds. And they're, they look like small crows and they travel in packs of, a million? of about a million. And by packs, of course, you know how many flocks, but the, it's a pack mentality. They're like wolves and they poop everywhere. And in the evenings and in the mornings, they swarm like bees. Like you can see clouds of them moving everywhere. 
And so in order to combat that, our building has started spraying this grape seed sticky stuff into the trees and they don't like it on their feet. So it deters them without harming them from being in our trees. Downside of that is that what goes up must come down and the spray doesn't just stick to trees or evaporate. It sticks to trees or falls to the ground. And so it, it got all in Cujo's hair. So I'm trying to cut it out. I don't know that they make a black kills spray paint, Kim. Right, Claire? I'm sure they're down there too. They're they're psycho birds. And they are they're the kind of birds that are kinda of like geese if you walk within a million miles of one of their nests and they have a baby in it, they will swoop at your face. <sighs> Vamp, you can have all of this. Autobonology. I love it. Kim, it's about the same as resin and pet hair. Like, it's solid. You can't, there's no brushing through this. It's just, like, okay. It's just pointy. Sandy, my tax stuff is so itemized because I'm a business owner and a sole proprietor, the same thing. Um, and I wanna write off all the things. So I have to use CPA. guys if it's buffering just click that refresh button and it should fix that problem so we've demoed doing a stencil on here before but basically can I see that before you take it this is a standard sheet of poster board or thunder sound maker Me, it's a technical term. And basically, draw out whatever shape you want on this, and then take an exacto blade and cut it out. And that's what we use for our stencils. But I will have Jeff do one as a pre-recorded video for when we we're in Australia. So that you guys can see start to finish making one. Um, what are you doing? Uh, I'm gonna color that eye in like chrome. Just put this shelf paper over it so I can spray it white. So I can just get like a perfect little area. If you guys use shelf paper for your stenciling, you have to sand it your canvas because shelf paper does not like to stick to raw canvas or even spray paint. So that makes it a little bit difficult sometimes. Ah, oh, that makes sense. The um, 1969. Oh, there's so many shadows. Like it's hard to... Sandy, shelf paper is amazing. Faux show. If I had to do a simple return, 
like if I got a W-2, then I'd be right there with you on TurboTax. But I 100% would get audited if I did my own taxes, for sure, because I don't know what I'm doing. You think I'm bad with science and directions? Math is even worse. Night, Colleen. That's brilliant, Sandy. Exactly, Judy, sorry about that. Good looking out, uh, shelf paper or contact paper, same, same. There's a Bowie bean. Hi, Bowie bean. Y'all, I lifted him up and he's so tender from where he got his shots today that he yelped and it broke my heart a little bit. Hi. He's like, mm, I don't like to, I don't like to spray paint can. <laughs> yeah, you need to go over there anyways, but. Mm -hmm. Accountants do cost a couple dollars, but for me, I'll pay it for the peace of mind. Number one, I don't want to have to do it. Number two, I know that they'll find more deductions than I will. And number three, they know what should and shouldn't be counted as a deduction and where to itemize everything to. And I will pay for that peace of mind nine days out of the week. Hey, Miss Bouvier, tell your mom we said happy 98th birthday to you. That makes sense, Jim. Hey, Liz. I agree, Shy. Love Jeff's cap. Which one are you wearing? My artist told that. We're thinking about putting hats available on the website eventually. I want to do them. I want to do them uh, embroidered logo. Jason really wants to do the puffy puffy letter. Great, Patty. Confirm. That sucks, Luke. Luke wants one of those hats so bad. I would just order a bunch of those and put them on the website, but because of how much they already are, like they would be it would price way out of what one should pay for a hat, unfortunately. Hi, Patricia Hogan, newbie. Welcome to the fam. If you have any questions, please let us know. What, son? Do you want back up here? Is that what's happening right now? You want up here? You want up here? You know good and well we're not going for any kind of walkies right now. What is on here? Oh, it's paint. What the hell are on pencils? Are you going to color? I don't know if I want to do that. Well, fine. Sandy asks, how much do you charge for an airbrush poster that size? So, that size canvas looks like a 30 by 40. Mm, 24 by 36, maybe. Maybe it's just distorted on camera. It looks fatter than that. Anyways. Um, it depends on what it is you want to have airbrushed. Um, so basically how much detail is invested Come here. equals how much time it's going to take equals how much it's going to cost. And Jeff doesn't do commissions that he doesn't completely love the idea of. Because, just like we talked about yesterday, if you don't like what you're doing, then it becomes work. You know what I mean? Be careful under his arms. Anyways, Sandy, shoot me an email. Right. We can talk about it. 
Luke says he'd battle you for the one you have. You're crazy. Cute. You remember y'all's dance battle and... Mm -hmm. Yep. Um... So yeah, Luke, come down here and get your battle on. Oh, thank you, Patricia. Mm -mm 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 -mm. This cork star. I'm, get my, uh, I'm glad you're here. Um. So JJ, I think we paid 46 plus shipping for that hat, something like that. So markup would put it above what anybody should pay for a cap, you know? Was that a hamster? That was not a hamster. That was our Bowie bean. He is a Pomeranian, much like this little fella. My tabletop palm. Baby moose. Kuja. Hey. Cold shoulder. Is that how we're doing this? That's fine. That's fine. But he looks like a chipmunk. <laughs> what now? Are you about to color pencil in some chrome? Some chalk. Yes, I'm gonna zoom in for you guys. Claire, you know Moo's always gonna pop that side eye like more than cash. And I think, you know people always say that dogs take on attributes of their humans. Pujo totally adopted my side eye for sure. Where was I? He is a tiny palm. Um, fun fact. Three people in this chat room, live chat video, um, have pom pups out of the same litter. So I'm going to zoom this in so you guys can really see what he's getting down with. You're only going to be coloring on that eye, right? Yeah. Okay. There we go now. Your grandmother used to breed palms. That's awesome. I'm very palm picky. I do research on everything. Like, I don't care if it's like a heat gun. I read all the reviews on every website just so I can make sure that it's not like paid reviews. I want to see verified purchaser reviews. Anyways. I do that for even a heat gun. So I spend months when I have a substantial investment like, hey, like a palm pup or a car or renting a house or a loft. Bye, Patty. Collies are so pretty. I just, we can't have anything with that much energy in a loft. I feel bad. Kim wants one out of the next litter, but would have to save at least a year. She actually, um, she doesn't breed her palms every heat. I think she does one heat a year, but she has like 12 palms. Um, and she's got some coming up in, I want to say June. Now I know why they call those round white balls pom-poms. Yeah, I wonder which came first. Had to be the dog.
Don loves your pastels, Jeff. Thank you. Sure, here. I think this is black and white. Maybe a dark gray. Baby me. Baby me. There is whatever baby news do. He had a vet appointment on Saturday, Cujo did, and um, they listened to his lungs and his heart and everything, and there's nothing that can be done about his enlarged heart, but the fluid buildup that he had on his lungs is like 80% better, so super pumped. I was going to say, Laura has a chocolate lab. <laughs> I had a Rottweiler for a while. Um, but because I don't know anything about Cujo's condition when he was diagnosed, and it was right around the time that my dad passed away, I had to get another palm. I wanted something to um, give Cujo a little bit more youth. Because right now he sleeps most of the time. He's just a lazy boy. He's like a cat. And I knew that a puppy would do that once he decides that he's going to tolerate him. Um, and also, in case Cujo's taken from me too soon, I wanted to have a transition puppy. Because I knew that if he passed and I didn't have another one that I wouldn't want to get another one and I don't really know if I want to be without a palm Bowie what are you chewing on? Where is he? He's playing with that cup. You're so silly. All of the toys I bought this, he has a ball pit now, and he is yeah. on the bed playing with the plastic cup. So cute. All right, I need a blending stick. Mm -hmm. Is there one to pick? Yes, yes. Um, anyways, I'm glad all of you guys have um, Puppies and things and cats. Oh, things down. Jeff has become such a worry ward, just like a new daddy. He definitely checks on Bowie. They've connected. Right, Jen? Well, when um, Bowie got his shots today, they also gave him like a small shot of Benadryl because he's so small and they didn't want him to have any kind of reaction. So it was like a preventative Benadryl. He's supposed to be extra sleepy, but I think they messed up and shot him with a little bit of adrenaline instead. I'm sorry, Daphne. Judy, I'll bring Bowie's plastic cup when we come up there. What is Jeff using and doing? So Jeff is going to paint chrome, a chrome reflection out of pastels in the eyeball of this stormtrooper. Jen Germ says, I have a yellow lab, she's 12 now, but I named her Monet because when she was a puppy, she spilled paint and tracked it all over the house. I knew she would be an artist. 
Um, Jen, I did not get Bowie microchipped yet. I'm going to when they sedate him to do any neutering or if I get his teeth clean. The first time I, I make him take a nap, I'm going to have him chipped. Hi, Bowie beans. Stars are playing, no score yet. Oh, God, I forgot. Night, Doris. Thanks, Linda. Three. Oh, the tool he's using. Um, I think he was using a blending stick. Yeah. It's basically a rolled up piece of paper that you use to soften edges. You can also just use your finger. But then you got stuff on your finger and that may transfer on any white surface. So use a blending tool. They're not expensive because they literally are rolled up paper. I'm sorry, lost art. That had to be difficult. He's just hanging out. He's got his ears basically touching for some reason. He's crazy. I got those in my new sketching kit. Yep, that's what those are. First time I got them, I was like, I thought they were what, those wax candles that you put in your ear. I didn't light it on fire though. Design sunglasses. Jen, we don't have, I don't have time to design sunglasses. Don says, Jeff, you have mad pastelling skills. You actually should see some of his pastel stuff. I know. I am a serial horn tutor, but he's kind of amazing. You're too sweet, guys. Ooh, there's some glare. Oh, I get you. He doesn't like it, the sound of my feet sticking to the floor. Every time I walk, he's like, I don't like it. Puppies are most skittish between 8 and 12 weeks. He'll be braver after 12 weeks. I've got to get something to drink. I am parched, but I'll wait till you get back on screen. Also, Jeff has pencil sharpeners, but he prefers to use an exacto blade. Well, I I can't use a pencil sharpener with charcoal. Side note: take all proper precautions when using an exacto blade. Don't cut yourself. I feel like I have to say it. It's not in the description box. Just listen to my words. Listen to my face. Don't cut yourself with an exacto blade. It's easy to do when you're not paying attention. Also, you can wear one of those mesh chain gloves for extra protection. You're welcome. When are you guys coming back from Oz? We are coming back. I want to say the 14th or 15th, but I could be way wrong. I'd have to look. We are in Dallas, Texas. Jen, whenever. When using exacto blades, always wear shoes. Don't ask me why. You don't want to know. Clara, that's why Jeff gets on to me for not wearing shoes in the studio. It's completely warranted and I should always wear shoes. P.S. You should always wear shoes. Disclaimer, disclaimer, disclaimer. But yeah, definitely always wear shoes in the studio. Um, well, that's awesome, Jen. Then the first and second of June. 
And wear bubble wrap when you're walking. It's perfect. <laughs> he does not like the sound of that. Oh, is that so, Judy? That's awesome, Daphne. Well, he's following you. Well, I know, but once I pick that can up, he's not going to. He literally. He just turns around. <laughs> He's like, nope, nope, nope. Are you going to spray something? I don't have you even a little bit on camera. Oh, yeah, I do on that one. I'm just going to uh, put matte spray over that so I can get it a little darker. But I need to get the stencil out. Absolutely, Jen. Just that area. Kim, Jen is amazing and brilliant. You will love her. So what I'm going to do is put this over it so that I can just kind of isolate that area. Are you going to spray something? I'm going to, I just said I'm going to spray, um, matte spray over it. To zoom out for that. Come down, man. We're not going anywhere right now. What I'm doing here, I'm going to make this little stencil so that, because there's still places here and if you get matte over this it'll be a different texture and I don't want to mess with that Absolutely, Jen. Always wash your hands when you're working on a white background. <laughs> or really any background. That's not for safety. That's just so you don't mess up your artwork. Yeah. The more your hands are clean, the less touch-up work you can do. Especially working with charcoal, it's super easy to get those. No fingerprints on there. Sulu said, I started spraying in short sprays like Jeff said. Huge difference. It is. It makes a big difference. <laughs> Love the ice scape. Aw, it's a reflection scape. What are you doing, Billy Bean? No, that stuff's crazy in Paris. Are you gonna, no, that's so bad. Do they know yet, like, what started that fire? I don't think that thing's gonna burn down. Isn't it mainly made of stone? I don't remember. Well, how is it on fire then? Well, there's other things in there. 
tapestries and etc. Hi Jennifer. All the way to the ground, Jacqueline. That's sad. The tower collapsed. Yeah, I saw that earlier today. Does anyone know how it started? I really have no white chalk. How is that even possible? I think you have your white chalk separated for real, for real. Very good point, Judy. And now I hope the museum was saved for sure. They were in the middle of renovations. Yeah. Sue, Notre Dame, or Notre Dame, or Notre Dame, however you say it caught on fire today, like blaze. Ooh, if it did start in the attic where they were doing renovations, there's a construction company that's about to face all of the bankrupts. Oh, that's awesome. Misty said they moved a lot of stuff out because of the re renovations. Good point, Cena. I didn't even know it took that long, Nene. I can't imagine having my company name attached to what may be an accidental torching of such a relic. Like, even if they didn't go bankrupt, they'd have to shut it down. Was that varnish B? No, it was just matte spray. It was just matte spray vamp. Right, Sue, no one would trust them. I seem to have noticed that, Shy. Thank you, Rusty. He's my little firecracker. He's always into everything. He is a toddler. Well, if it was an accident and I was doing construction and people were saying that my business caught it on fire, I would personally hire investigators to make sure. What's the mat spray for? Is it to keep it from smearing? Yeah, and then that way I can I could go over it with this chalk pen because if I were to try to go over that 
charcoal with this chalk paint, it would just clog this chalk pen up and it wouldn't, and I can't get it opaque white like I'm getting right now. I'm not digging this too much. I'm, I'm really contemplating on, on uh, maybe putting some uh, Those curly white baby teeth. I should be literally like covering this entire thing with this paper. Like that would probably be the best bet to keep this all clean. Is just cover this entire thing with shell paper, just so that it protects it. So if there does anything get on it, I don't have to touch it up. This is pretty much an experiment. Like that first one was just a quick experiment. I'm like digging the, uh, the how light this is. And if you just joined, I'm putting shelf paper on this. The outside, because I'm gonna, I'm gonna cut this out, and I'm just gonna spray a little white right here, just so it'll be more opaque and a little bit more fade. No moves. You don't need to bark at that. Missy definitely still has puppy breath. Missy says it's coming out banana so far. Rusty says, okay, I want to see a Land Rover in the scene. A Land Rover? It looks like Alien Mountains thus far. I'm going to keep this because I'm going to go back over that part. What move? You want to get down? Thank you, Clara. Come on, Miss. You want to get down? not go bark. He's about to go bark. I'm sure of it. That's fun, Daphne. Yeah, Misty, cutting all of that out is not a fun time, but... You know what? It actually is fun to me. It's like, it, it, it's so worth it to take the time to cut stuff out, like, when you're doing stuff like this, because mm -hmm. it takes... A minute to paint it afterwards. <laughs> mm -hmm. Like the long, the, the longer it takes, 
the faster it is to paint it. It's kind of funky. I'm gonna get down belly bean. Okay. Ready? Au revoir, au revoir, ciao, baby Bowie. He went to go follow his brother around the studio, I guess. You know what Laura Taylor says, in the craft world, it's known as fussy cutting. Fussy, okay. Fussy cutting. Move, no barking. 100%, I'm sure he didn't hear me say that. Robin, I call Bowie and all of his siblings land piranhas because that's exactly what they are. I have all the little puncture wounds to prove it. That sounds delicious, Shy. Are these getting fancy? Oh, you fancy, huh? What are you going for, B? You want me to say? Land piranhas. I'm pretty sure I'm about to misspell land piranhas. Nope. Y'all know what I mean, land piranhas. The fish with the teeth. Lost Art, I have two. I have Cujo and Bowie. They are both palms. And sometimes we have my friend Cressa's pups here until she moves into her new place in five days or four wake ups. Art question, is there a reason Jeff is using pastels? Um, Liz, he just likes working with all mediums and he likes the soft blending ability of pastels, I think. Clara, I started doing that, but then my research brain read that you don't want to make too many loud noises between 8 and 12 weeks because that's when they're like super sketchy. He's playing this, this, the music of his people. The music of his people? Yeah. It's the equivalent of like a rain dance. I know it's him because Cujo doesn't play that. Oh, there it says Cujo right there. All fact, Laura Taylor. It's too plain. It's not. It's like it's too plain. Maybe do the outside in blues. Tie it in somewhere. I don't know what he's squeaking on. I'm no, I know it's not the duck though. This squeak is, it's gotta be one of those like, inside of an animal squeakies. Oh, he's a brave one. He's got one of the ferrets. If y'all don't know Cujo, let me just give you a little info. He doesn't care about Bowie playing with any toys in the house, of which there are about a million. Cujo doesn't care about treats, food, 
who sleeps where, but he does care about his ferret. It's one of those skinnies that has like no fluff on the inside. It's just a floppy. It's like if someone puts two squeakers in a tube sock, basically. It's all he cares about. And Bowie, I think is just daring him to do something. That sounds awesome, Anne. Night, Zulu. So I don't know what, where Jeff is with this. I think he's looking up references. Um, I am enough, Moo. Lay down. I'm going to. finish this coaster with flower petals in it. You're gonna leave it because what? Should be using casting resin, but well, yeah, show them the ones that I painted. I'm kind of proud of those. They're fun. Show them the what that you painted? The backs of those coasters. Oh yeah. I got resin cooking, so I'm gonna do that in just a second. about putting these uh what are these called this is true shy like the uh just like little ones like little black ones like they're flying in let's see that's awesome g lady what are you working on tonight thanks laura taylor it's just rose petals I started this last night. It's a deep set mold that I put just a little bit of resin on the bottom just so that it would stick the flowers without coming out. Oh, I'm so glad you like them, Lynn. Boys. Jacqueline says her Star Wars nerd niece is freaking out over this piece. Oh, yeah? And Bowie's... Bowie. Oh, nice turn on, Don. You can have that. I know that thing in your hand is not a Death Star, isn't it? Like a... A pew pew? Yeah. I don't know what they're called, but in my head they're called pew pew. Liz, I understand the feeling. G Lady, can't wait to see that geode. I'm just mixing resin, y'all. <gasps> Two pium pions. See you, Misty. So in our place, it's all like antique cedar floor, like wood, except for a few like strips of like polished concrete. And sometimes 
my precious little window looker palm decides he's going to chew on the cement. Is that normal? Asking for a friend. All right, I don't know if I made enough. I should have thinned this resin out a little bit. So that it can get in and around all the crevices and release all the bubbles. I doubt I'm going to fill up this mold. Maybe I will, who knows. Trying to heat it up a little bit, thin it out without doing damage to the flower petals. Because you don't want to bake them or scorch them. And I'm not using a torch because that's almost guaranteed that I will scorch. All of the things. Yep, it's not quite filled, which is fine because you don't want to pour too thick with any resin that's not made for casting. So that'll be good. I'm gonna let that sit for a minute, tap some of the air bubbles up, and in a little bit, I'm going to come back and hit it with heat again because as your resin rests and starts to cure, air bubbles are gonna come closer to the top because science. So in a little bit, I'm going to do that again. I'm just going to periodically come back and hit that with a little bit of heat. Because as you can see, there is a little bit of bubbles. I don't know if you guys can see that. But I want to make sure that there are no bubbles caught, like big air bubbles, because when air is introduced to something, that's when things start to mold and mildew and decompose. But as long as there's not air getting to whatever it is that you're encasing in resin, it will stay beautiful forever. Oh, thanks, Daphne. Sour cream, that was art coat. I don't want to use quick coat when doing any casting of live things like flowers because it heats up too hot and it will wilt and make everything you're casting pretty gnarly. Good gnarly. Night shy. I think it has been about a year, Daphne. It's a TIE fighter. Oh, that's what the Pium Pium is? I had no idea that's what that's called, but makes sense since it kind of looks like a bow tie. Patricia, I just um, put some rose petals into a mold. I'm gonna make a coaster. I started out by just putting a little bit of resin in the bottom, placing the petals and letting that set up 
That way the petals won't float to the surface. They'll fill the whole piece instead of just floating up. Um, but I'm not using a casting resin, so there's little teeny tiny bubbles in there still that I have to wait um, maybe 15 or 20 minutes Fine. and then I'll hit it with heat again. I guess I'll keep it. I think you should. <clears throat> that mini Star Wars scene is amazing. Oh, you put the thing in there. You got Pew Pew's and Death Star? Death Star. Can um, you hold that up to the camera? Oh my god, what if I did one of these like this and did the Death Star and its reflection, but how it's blown up and then put a little tear on it? Oh my goodness, that would be so funny. <laughs> you should do a resin drop, that way it's like shiny. Thank you, Patricia. Actually, um, Jen sent me some roses. This is the one I picked all of the petals off of, but they were rainbow roses. And so I um, am a bit of a hoarder and sentimental things. So I picked all the petals off so I can like commemorate that gift from my friend and do a coaster. Rosie says, keep it. Liz says, that's awesome. Very nice, so colorful. Brilliant idea with the Star Wars scene and the reflection. I was quick coat the other day and it only lasted about five minutes and started boiling. Fumes are so bad. I followed directions, but could it be the cups? They melted. So sour cream, when you are working with quick coat, you have to work in small quantities because the more you mix up the quicker it's going to heat up internally and you want to get it mixed up and out as soon as possible because the heat's going to build off of the heat it's generating create extra more heat and it's just going to set up if you leave it in the cup for very long also don't mix it too vigorously because that also can stop that also can yeah. um make it start setting sooner than you would like it to. Like, I don't really work with quick coat in any quantity over like four ounces at a time. And that's when I'm doing just one color and I'm doing rings and a geode. It's the only time I use big quantities like that. Uh, Patricia it is a real rose. She sent me live roses that are rainbowy. Um, cheap plastic cups are not ideal. Look on the bottom and inside the recycling, there should be a number. And I, I want to say five or six is the best to use with resin. In my brain, I think that's right, but I'm not sure. And also maybe two. I'm loving all that you always do, Mr. Jeff. Hi, Scarlett. Daphne says it's so awesome. Missy says, Jeff, man, you're so good, dude. The best I've ever seen. And E is the best woman artist I've ever seen. Aww. You're too sweet, Missy. Thank you. Beautiful. Shit gets hard fast. Why are you going to say that when I don't have my button near me? That's what she said. Lost art. Um... If he were to resin over pastels, what he would do is spray clear, like a varnish over it or a clear, just spray paint to seal that in so that it's not gonna bleed or melt under the resin and it won't fish eye. Um, boys. I'm always trying to play with Cujo and Cujo's just trying to get my attention. It is mayhem. I think you're right, Judy. B, are you... Nothing. 
think he's done with those pieces for now, y'all. I think tomorrow he will finish them. I've been working on stoning um, this awesome ornament that I got from Miss Judy. And I can't wait to show you how those look. They're bananas. And I think I have some egg-shaped ones for Easter. <laughs> follower. Erica, is this for a Star Wars challenge or an art show? It's for a May the 4th Be With You show on May 4th. Also, you guys, just so you know, we have a class coming up um, on the 1st and 2nd of June. I hope you guys can make it if you're in and around town. I have the class information already posted on the website. Check it out, artistilldeath.com. I also have some paints on sale. I have a spring clearance on some colors because I'm getting in a whole bunch of new ones and I'm super pumped about it, but I'm running out of space, so. You gotta get rid of the ones that I have extra of and make space, you know? Um, my pleasure, Liz, thanks for watching. Thank you, Clara. Um, check us out on all of these. Boys are going crazy down here. Are they like playing? Yeah. Oh my God, look at Bowie. He's like pushing him. He's trying to check him. <laughs> JJ, just come on over. Just come on over. I know, Amanda, we're going to be in Oz this time next week. Or on our way. I don't know. We time yeah, travel at some point. Night, Ramona. So, join us on... He's got the zoomies, y'all. He's losing his brain a little bit. Um, join us on all of our other social media places. Shoot me an email if you have any questions. Or leave us a comment down below. Thank you all so, so much for watching. It means so much to us. And we love you all. Please be kind to one another. You never know what someone may be going through. And we will see you tomorrow at our early time because it is Tuesday. We'll see you at 2 p.m. Central Standard Dallas, Texas, United States time. Till tomorrow. Bye. I said bye.